Okay, so for this question, we've got two inequalities to solve. And then in the last part, part C, we're going to need to find the range of values of x which satisfy both inequalities. So let's start with the first one then. What we need to do is expand this first of all. So therefore, what we've got is 3 times x, 3x, and then 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, is less than 8 minus 2x. So let's put that in there. Now we need to add 2x to both sides. So 3x and 2x is going to give us 5x. And then we've got minus 6. We can add that to both sides. And that will give us 8 and 6 is 14. Now the sign remains exactly the same. Remember, it only reverses if you multiply or divide by a negative number. And now what we want to do is divide by plus 5 to both sides. So the inequality won't reverse, so it's just going to be x is less than 14 fifths. 14 fifths, you could write that, for instance, as 2 and 4 fifths, or 2.8. It won't matter. Right? So, but I'm just going to leave it like that. x is less than 14 fifths. So that's A done. Now, when it comes on to part B, what we've got here is going to be a quadratic inequality. You don't need to go and expand this. Right? If you do, you're just going to get a 2x squared here. So you can see it's going to be a quadratic inequality. Now, what you need to do is certainly don't make the mistake of saying 2x minus 7 is less than 0 or 1 plus x is less than 0. You will get it wrong if you do that. What we've got to do is find what is called the critical values. So we'll have a subtitle here, critical values. And these are the values of x that make this equal to 0. And if you're unsure about this, just go on my website and look under solving quadratic inequalities, all right? And you'll see about critical values. Okay, so it's where this would equal zero. That's when 2x minus 7 equals zero, or the 1 plus x equals zero. And so if we add 7 to both sides and then divide by 2, you'll get 2x equals 7, leading to x equals 7 over 2, or 3.5. And for this one, if we subtract 1 from both sides, we've got x equals minus 1. Now, these are our critical values. This is where this would equal 0, but wouldn't be less than 0. To get around this, to solve this finally, what I do is draw a graph. Let's just draw our axes here, x and y. And the graph that I'm going to be drawing is the graph of y equals 2x minus 7 multiplied by x, oh, I was going to say x plus 1, same thing, I know, but 1 plus x in this case, all right? And these critical values are where y equals 0, which is where the graph would cross the x-axis. So it would cross at minus 1, we'll just mark that in here, minus 1, and at 3.5 or 7 over 2. So it's not drawn to scale, but that doesn't really matter too much. But we've got a positive quadratic expression here if we were to multiply this out. We've got 2x squared. And positive quadratic expressions are u-shaped. All right, So we would have a graph for y something like this. All right, Just sketch that in. So looking something like that. And what we're looking for is where this value, which we've called y, is less than zero. Negative, in other words. And y is negative when it's below the x-axis. So for this example, it's between minus 1 and 7 over 2. So what we can say is, therefore, from the graph, let's just put that in, from the graph, we can see that y is less than 0 when x is between. And you write between statements like this with the number minus 1 to the left and 7 over 2 on the right here. So x lies between minus 1 and 7 over 2. And that will make our value here less than 0. 
OK, well, that's B. Now, for part C, we've got to find out the range of values of x which satisfy both these inequalities. And to do this, what I do is a number line. A number line for the first one. And we can see that x has got to be less than 14 fifths. So if I had a number line with 14 fifths on here, let's just put the 14 fifths up here. We want to be less than 14 fifths. So that's got to be a circle, say, like that, being less than. And we want values of x back in this direction. All right? That's how we would illustrate that particular result on a number line. If it was less than or equal to, we'd fill this in with a solid value. OK, let's draw another number line for this result here. So if we just do it underneath here. Now, for this one, we want x to be between minus 1 and 3.5, 7 over 2. Well, 3.5, or 7 over 2, is beyond 14 fifths. So let's just put that up here, 7 over 2. And minus 1, well, we'll have minus 1 down here, say. And we want values of x between these two. So we'd want between here and here. Not equal to it, so we're just interested in values along here. Now, if both results are to hold, simultaneously in other words, then what we want is values in between here and here, because they would hold in both inequalities. So how do we write this? Well, we want values of x between minus 1 and 14 fifths. So we could say that, therefore, x has to lie between minus 1 and 14 fifths. So that would be the range of values, then, for which x makes both these inequalities hold. All right, and that's part C done.